Well, that's the last of it, Filthy Rich. Apple jam. Our pleasure. See you next time. Now that I'm getting older, I want to prove I can handle more responsibility on the farm. But the crates are... I totally kept track of everything. Good. Because we wouldn't want Filthy Rich to get a shipment of cider when he's supposed... <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Now, why don't you and Big Mac head on out to the house and let me finish up here? <laughs> mm, nope. Could be until you all shared its magic with me. trying to make off with a shipment of cider, right? Because I would never do that. Don't worry. We know. Now, why in tarnation would you lie to me, Apple Bloom? I was kind of hoping I could fix it before any pony found out. Tell him old lie. Billy, <laughs> 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 the whole family ended up in a hospital. What? <laughs> yep. <sighs> you might as well tell her the whole thing. bit older than you are now. They both kept us squabbling over who would run the farm better. He on how to run things better around here. <laughs> Applejack, Applejack, Applejack. Ideas are all well and good, but you can't pile for Toad's better stop jabbering and get to working. Yeah, it is better. I need you to go to town. The apple blight's been awful. And it's telling Cousin Brayburn last week. Now there's a pony who knows how to put his back into a problem. Uh, say spoiled meal. Honey, this is Applejack and Big Mac, the two hardest working ponies at Sweet Apple Acres. Acres makes Zap Apple Jam. It's one of Dad's best sellers. You mean one of your? <laughs> Don't mind spoiled milk. She's just proud of me. But she's right. I'm in tears. Cider season's around the corner. Why not let me sell it for you? That is an interesting... Danny Smith told us your grandpa, Stinkin' Rich, used to ask her every year if he could sell our cider in your store, and Granny told him every year about the... Tri Someday, one of y'all take over the farm just like I've taken over the store. I'm guessing it'll be the one with the best idea. How feel. You know what? How about we give you three barrels of cider early, and if it sells well, we'll make a deal for the rest. Oh. <laughs> if the future means me running Sweet Apple Acres and you being quiet, I can't wait. Granny will love the idea, and then she'll decide that I'm the one who should take over the farm. You'll see. Say what? on ideas. You can't Head plow a field with them. Eat. Right. Big idea. He's running the family store now. And what does this here opportunity mean for Sweet Apple Acres? Well, uh, since barrels of cider to sell at the store before the season starts. Oh, is that all? But, Granny, why can't we sell a few barrels of cider early to Filthy Rich? And how is it any... Um, ain't the same thing! Zap apple jam jars preserve the flavor for moves, but cider starts to spoil the set apple acres. And first cup, first serve! I get what you're saying, Granny, but couldn't you make an exception? Cider making is iffy business! And we're probably not gonna have a lot this year anyway, what with all the blight. I hate to say I told you so, Applejack, but... You and I both know you don't hate to say anything. Always knows everything you're thinking. And... And you don't ever have to listen to any pony else. What? His partner. Uh, about the cider, Rich. Take a look at what I did last night after we made our date. I don't think I can get you, Winnie. What? What? I did all this work on your say-so. We shook hooves and everything. What with all the blight? Go oh. Sounds to me like you're trying to make excuses whenever Granddad dealt with Granny Smith altogether. Now, now, the thing is, Rich, it ain't really up to us. You see, Granny's no pony did. What Big Mac means is that uh, we've been trying to keep it quiet. Don't want people to make Granny... My, of course, of course. I'm so sorry. Please, let me know if there's anything. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to tell Rich the simple truth, but instead you made things worse with a giant lie. Business with us all together. Yeah, but that's only because I, I forgot to ask if we had any old crumbles for them. Because you made promises you couldn't keep. But there's got to be a better way out of this mess than by making up some story about Granny being sick. Granny is speedy recovery. Look, sis, our good friend Mr. Rich and his fiance are here. Oh. Uh, excuse me one second. <laughs> What in tar- Can you go out to the barn? I, uh, I think we might have left a blight sprayer in the orchard. Are you out of your apple picking mind? Yep, we'll be right back, okay? So from that moment on, I took to referring him. He always wears his yoke. Even though we asked him how your grand bear is doing. Oh, yeah, you know how- 
idea. Is she doing that bad? Well, I'm getting more upset just thinking about it. Excuse me. What in the frilly? All the spares are here. Oh, good. Only uh real. Uh, that was before I had the rich on the one knee. An ugly mark. But we asked when we could come back to see Granny. Uh, Big Mac didn't want to be rude. Not on the trees got the blight. Yeah, that's usually the case. The doctor sent Granny to Ponyville General. We just got back right before you showed up. Oh, my. Leave. <coughs> just in case. You're right. We're going to have to hurry if we want to get there before visit. I'm sure we'll see you there. second best teeth right in the pig pen and it was the work the hospital why who said you are apparently what he means is your need ponies now the doctors need an expert opinion and no pony knows more about fighting blight than greg <laughs> Now you wait right here while I uh, check on your presentation. What in the rotten room? I told you we were coming. Well, I'm glad we found you because I can't seem to find Granny's room or any nurses. Right, go down some stairs, up a bunch more stairs, uh, through the cafeteria, left three more times, and then you're there. Eat up on Big Mac. Okay, Granny, just wait here one second and we can go. Jesus. Climb up here and I'll cover you up. Then I'll bring way out of control, Applejack. I know you thought selling cider in filthy store was a good idea, but it ain't worth lying to him about grand. Please just listen to me for once. This ain't about my ideas. If Rich finds out about all the lies, he'll cut off ties with us in the oh, in first place. I would, but if I let you do the talking, you just ramble on and on until we all got caught in your life. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Granny, they need you to wait here. I'll come get you. Oh. Here, and this time I'll make sure you don't get lost. She was right here. Oh no, we gotta go. Is that Granny? Granny, what are you doing? You're supposed to stay there. It was a surprise. Save your voice for the big presentation. This is our best doctor. She'll have your brother back on his hooves in no time. Did she say apple blight? Uh, I, she said gasket mites. And once your trunk turns red like you see, prune them branches? Well, sure. What else you gonna do once the blight gets this bad? Everybody just stop! This is all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Granny Smith? What is going on here, Applejack? That is a darn... Just nervous that I wouldn't be the one to end up running the farm. But I promised something to Filthy Rich that I couldn't deliver. And I was too... Mm, nope. Those were all lies. And I thought if you found out, you'd stop doing business with the farm. Farm suffer for what I did. This whole thing is my fault. That's not entirely true. Maybe if I paid more attention less, listen more. Especially to you. <sighs> Thanks, big brother. And whether it's me running sweet apple that you two were talking about, I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> running the farm, not sweet apple acres, or I'm going right to your grain, Peppy. Get me? <laughs> um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I believe you told all those lies. It's not a story I'm proud of, but it taught me a lot. I learned that no pony starts out perfect, and sometimes you gotta make a few mistakes to figure out who you are. You're darn tootin'. Now, little pony, quit your lollygaggery and get back to work. Right. 